from? It's the, 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 the Tom Likas Show. Give me a darn break. And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. It's a different kind of radio talk program. We're the radio talk show that is not hosted by a right wing wacko or a convicted felon. No! I am your host. Write down our telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1 800 5 800 Talk. 1 800 5 800 866. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. Here we are. Together again on the radio. I often have conversations with you guys and you just all throw caution to the wind. I can't believe how many of you don't think ahead when you're having sex. Don't think ahead about the consequences of getting somebody pregnant. We'll leave STDs for another day or maybe another radio station. But the consequences of getting a pregnant. And I am not expressing my concern about children in terms of, oh, what will their lives be like? Because that's certainly something for people to consider. But I'm just talking about you. If you don't use condoms, if you take a woman at her word that she's on birth control, all you're doing is putting your future in somebody's hands. What it says to me about you is that you not only believe you are a loser today, but that you will always be a loser. You're a loser today, and you're going to be a loser forever. Because if you do knock that chick up, merely because you were too lazy to put on a condom, or because you thought it felt better to have sex without a condom, the rest of your life you're going to be a slave. A slave to that chick, a slave to that kid, A slave to Child Protective Services. A slave to whoever's garnishing your wages. I'm amazed how many of you boys don't think about this. You know, we abolished slavery in this country in 1865. I have to wonder why you would sign up to be some bitch's slave. And yet some of you do it all the time. You have sex... No condom. You don't worry about the consequences of what's going to happen. You don't think about it. Uh, you take a chick's word. Oh, yes, I'm on the pill, honey. Oh, the doctor told me I can't get pregnant. The doctor told me, oh, my goodness, uh, the chances are one in a million that you'd get pregnant. And you boys just believe this stuff. You know, you're so drunk with testosterone, you can't even see what what's really going on. How many of you boys am I talking to right now who have bagged my groceries, changed my oil, sold me a pair of wiper blades, trimmed my hedges, You know, done menial tasks for me and everybody else. How many of you are out there because you were young, dumb, and full of enthusiasm? And how many of you tonight will go out, will get laid, won't use a condom? Proud of it, too. Proud of it. You know, you guys are all proud of it. You're big studs, and you're all proud of having sex without a condom. You're proud of it. This is something I don't and won't ever understand. I don't. I'm talking to people on the radio right now who are in their cars, 
heading somewhere to have sex with someone. There are no condoms. Well, maybe you're counting on there being condoms at the other end of the journey. Never bothering to worry about whether she put a pinhole through the condoms. Whether the condoms have expired. Nothing. You don't care. You don't care. You don't care. It's bad enough you guys get married without prenuptial agreements because you say, well, I don't have anything like you'll never have anything. This is the same mentality. I'm nobody. I amount to nothing. I've got nothing to protect. If she gets pregnant, eh, what am I going to pay in child support? I don't have a job. I don't have any future. I don't have anything. People who have sex without a guys who have sex without a condom not only are losers, they are, and again, this has nothing to do with AIDS or STDs or any of that stuff. You're not only a loser, you clearly believe you will always be a loser. And so therefore, if you have to work the rest of your life at menial jobs, that's pretty much what you expect of yourself. You've pretty much let yourself off the hook. This pisses me off because I grew up around guys like you, Vinny and Guido and the whole bunch of them. I grew up around them. I know what you guys are like. It's painful to see how little you think of yourself, that you would run the risk that you might knock some broad up and then give her the key to your vault, the key to your bank account, the key to your house. For the rest of your life, you will be her slave. It's sad. And yet I'm sure there's many of you out there who are going to have sex in the next few days without a condom. If you're one of those guys, I want to talk to you. Like this. 1-800-5800-TOWN. Like 1-800-5800-866. Thank you so much for not having any children. Anytime, dear. It's the Tom Likey Show. Tom Likey Show. At 1-800-5-800-TOM. Thank you for tuning in. Let's talk to all you wonderful guys out there who are not using condoms. Jim on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hello. I, yes, are you busy over there? Hey, Tom Likas. This is Hello from Portland, Oregon, land of the other white meat. Yes. Um, I've got quite a predicament. Uh, I am having sex with my girlfriend and not using condoms. Why? She says, she says she's on the pill. But that's just the beginning of my problems. She's not pregnant yet, but she has, uh, she has a lot of money. I don't have any money. And the temptation right now is to move in with her or not. Because if I don't, I will probably be on the streets. Why are you such a loser? Well, I just, things didn't work out the way that I planned, though. How so? Well, you know, I just graduated from college, and it's like, you see the movie The Graduate, you know? <laughs> That's me. Except, I'm, I'm, and I've kind of, I found my, uh, Mrs. Robinson, except she's around my age, she's not older. And I don't really know what to do with my life, and there's no, I'm I'm trying, you know, I'm getting job interviews and trying to get things going, but just things keep slipping through my fingers. I keep. Uh, it says here you're 26 years old. Why? Yeah. Why did you just finish college? Just finish college? Well, instead of going the traditional route after high school, I went to Europe for four years. No oh boy. And uh, then I was living around Europe, and then I came back and finished my degree. So, but I did, and uh, I what, what is your degree? In, what is your degree in? Oh, my degree is in uh, Spanish. Oh, what are you going to do with that? Oh, well, I was thinking of trying to get into some sort of career in public safety. I don't know. We'll see what I can do. Well, like be a cop? Yeah, that's something like that. You know. Well, why would you go to college for four years for that? Well, a four-year degree has always been one of my life goals. And so I've achieved that now, at least. But now Does it doesn't to... look like a career is one of your life goals. I'm working on that one, Tom. 
And that's the thing is, is it a, for a decision for me to do, moving in with her, I don't have to pay the rent and I can focus more on getting a career. But then if I don't, I don't know what I should do. So that makes you a gigolo. Partly, yes. Not partly. <laughs> Not partly. Well, she's not she's not pregnant, but you know, I I Yeah, but don't you know don't you understand you're in Portland. And these chicks are as fertile as anywhere in America. Yeah. Or haven't you noticed? Well what do you think I should do, Tom? I think you should stop being a loser and do something on your own. Do something on my own. Yeah. Get a real career. And so do you, I, I somehow I'm guessing that you don't think moving in with her would be a good idea. No, I don't. She will have a baby. Yeah. You know, maybe it's good that, uh, maybe it's better if I don't. Why? I mean, only a loser moves in with his girlfriend because he can't afford a place to live. Yeah. Yeah, I knew you are right. Um, you know, like a musician? Yeah. That's I'm what they do. They move in with the girlfriend. Oh, of course you are. You're in Portland. No job. You're a musician. Of course you are. Yep. And I see it pays as well as it always did. Uh, yeah, <laughs> it's right about that one. <laughs> I mean, don't you have any creativity, Any anything? Well, I have lots of creativity. Thing is, my creativity, it doesn't work to make money very well. Where's your creativity? In the sack? Well, in music and arts and these things. And I'm good at foreign languages. But didn't you have any interest ever in having money? You know, to be honest, I've never been that motivated by money i know that might sound crazy to you because you're really rich but i've never been that but but, but how about just freedom that yes but that, you can't yes. have freedom without money that's true that's... right you're right you're right you have to so have some, you're... didn't you ever think about that well is money is money freedom? What about what about uh, some people? Some people, money's more of a chain than anything. <laughs> Only if they use it to buy a lot of useless stuff. Yeah. When people don't know how to use, what to do with their money. Here's one thing you could be doing with your money: paying rent. Yeah. So. Your advice to me is don't move in with her. My advice to you is not only don't move in with her. Stop doing things in your life that make you need to move in with anybody. All right, Tom. Well, I'll take I'll take that I'll take that into into thought, and I, I don't think. And I'll you work. have to. And if you're having sex, you have to use a condom. They will garnish whatever little wages you have. Do you hear me? I hear you. But, but but why wouldn't you use a condom? Why not? Because I see her take her birth control every day. She does it in front of me. Not every day. Most days. Yeah. All it takes is one day. Yeah. Right? You're right, Tom. Take me out. Uh, take me out Larry Craig style. Larry Craig style. Did we ever even have a Larry Craig style? No, I don't think we did. Wow, what a loser. 1-800, I, I knew we were going to talk to losers this hour. 1-800-5800-TOM. Luis on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, what's up, Tom? Uh, Not much. I've been listening to you for about a year, and uh love your show. Thank you. 
I gotta confess to you, I've been having sex with this girl for, when, without a condom for like about a year already. And Why? I'm so fortunate, fortunate and lucky that she's not pregnant yet. Because Why are you doing it? Because I, like you said, uh, she told me she's on some birth control, which is an IUD. I believe you heard of it, internal uterus device. And uh, she hasn't got pregnant yet. And I believe that's what's working. I believe it's worse. How do you, maybe it ha maybe she doesn't have one. How do you know? Because Tom, I'm telling you, I've been having sex with her for about a year. I and and so you could have been incredibly lucky. I, I consider myself lucky. You're right. Yeah. She has an IUD, and she even told me when I first met her that it's 99 percent uh, uh, safe. And uh, honestly, the sex is good with, with her. It's it's awesome, you know. But. Uh, I guess I'm just like, you know, like putting myself at risk. So you don't care? Like if there's an accident, oh, well, it's the luck of the draw. Yeah, you're right. You're right. That's pretty much where it is. I don't care. But uh, like I'm telling you, the sex is good. We ought to condom with her. Right. So she has a kid. It'll be okay with you. Yeah. <laughs> How can you feel that way? Well, uh, I know I'm doing something bad, you know, and that's why I'm calling you for advice to see what you... No, you're not calling me for advice because you've already decided what to do. Well, I, I, I've i been thinking about it and I just want to, you know, stop doing what I'm doing. I just want to hear from you, from the expert, to see what you got to do. I always say, always use a condom, no matter uh, yeah. what they say. Yeah, I heard that a lot from you. So you already knew what I was going to say. Yeah, no, uh... I didn't know what you were going to say. It's just I want your own opinion. This is your, my first time. My opinion is always use a condom. Never yeah, believe right. what bitches say. No matter what they say, you're right. <laughs> Ever. Women are scandalous. They are. But you're not going to take my advice, are you? I'll take it, Tom, because I've been listening to you, and uh, whatever you say goes. And it's But you already knew that I've been telling people always use a condom, and you ignored my advice then. You no, know, I understand. I, I know I'm, I'm putting myself at risk, but uh, I guess I'm going to have to stop. Stop what I'm doing. It's been good, honestly. It's been great, but uh, I need to put a stop to it. Because uh, that 1% chance of getting pregnant, it's out there, you know what I mean? And you never know when it's going to come. Now, she's going to ask you why you're doing it, and you've got... The thing is, you're sending a mixed message by having sex without a condom. You're yeah. telling her, without words, that if she gets pregnant, it's okay with you. Yeah, you're right. Mm -hmm. Is it okay with you? You already said during this conversation it is okay with you. Is it? Well, actually not. I'm 28. I have no kids, but uh, it's something that I don't look forward to, you know, anytime soon, but... uh. Uh, no, uh, kids is the last thing that I want right now. Do you remember in this conversation, you said you didn't mind. I said, you don't mind if you have kids. You said, nope. No, uh, I, I probably didn't hear what you said, Tom, honestly. <laughs> All right, because I said that, and you said, no, you wouldn't mind. If she got pregnant, um, you weren't trying to get her pregnant. But if she got pregnant, it was okay with you. I'm sorry. I, I probably didn't uh, understand uh, what you said, and I right. just said, okay. Yeah, well, so, that's my story, Tom. You know, I and guess that I'm means, by to... the way, that means 100% of the time, not sometimes, not only when you're sober, always. Yeah, always. You're right. I'll take your advice. You know, like, it's, it's, it's not easy being a father. I've seen it through my brothers and friends and uh their life is just miserable and i guess i've been i've been messing up for the last year with this chick and i'm so fortunate that you know she hasn't gotten pregnant you are fortunate very fortunate yeah well yeah tom that's the story i wanted to share with you and um i'll keep that in mind always use a condom no matter what they say because uh they're really they could trick you like like that. Yeah. And, and, and they do, believe me. Mark on the Tom Likas show, hello. Hey, what's going on, Tom? How you doing? I'm doing great. 
I just wanted to call and uh, give you a big thank you. I've been dating a girl, well, was dating a girl for three years. Um, we used uh, rubbers all the time, and uh, we also talked about what would happen if, if uh, she had gotten pregnant. We both decided, since we were both young and weren't out of school at the time, uh, that she would have an abortion and we would uh, um, carry on. Well, we broke up about a year ago, and uh, she started dating somebody else maybe a couple months after that, and she is now five weeks away from having a child. So she act- lied to you. Well, that's what I'm saying, you know, and, and I asked her, because we still talk every now and then, I asked her what happened, and she said that she tried to abort it when she had a, uh, she didn't use a rubber with this other guy, she tried to abort it, went to the clinic twice, couldn't do it, and so it just goes to show that even if a woman tells you she'll want to do something, doesn't mean she'll do it once it happens. You know, and all these guys out there that you got to protect themselves, you know, if, unless you want to be a father, you got to rub her up. Yeah, no doubt about it. You know, and then I, you know, I think you do a great service to these guys, even though I think maybe only a small portion of people actually listen to what you're saying. Um, and it, it, it's a shame that there are so many uh, um, unplanned fathers out there. Many of them are listeners. Yeah, well, I just want to say thanks a lot. Can you take me out, Kobe Style, brother? Here you go, Mark. Oh. Oh. This is about us. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. Yeah, it beats in my heart. Oh. Yeah, the air I breathe. She's so special to me. One eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom, Isabella, on the Tom Likens show. Hello. Hi, baby. Oh my God, I'm so excited to talk to you. My heart is racing right now. Ooh, I, I love it. <laughs> so I just gotta say, I'm 26. I'm single. I love to date. I love my booty calls, and I can't believe how many guys do not carry condoms with them or like even if i go to their house like they don't have a condom like i always and i always carry condoms anyways but like these are guys they know i'm coming over they know what we're gonna do and they just like didn't just where's the condom i don't know (laughs) and what i can't believe is that they trust you to have one well yeah they're lucky (laughs) they're damn lucky because i'm on depot too i take care of all (laughs) in I understand that, and I believe you, but imagine if you weren't like that. Imagine if you showed up and, ah, zero tolerance. You're out. She said the F word. End of conversation. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Steven on the Tom Like His Show. Hello. Tom. Tom. Yeah. Hey, what's up, man? Not much. I do. I'm a long-time listener. First time caller. Thank you so much, Stephen. So um, I have a good question for you, man. I had two different three bangers in the past couple months, and both times I didn't use a condom. What am I supposed to do about that? Share it. Share the condom. Yeah, like what do you what do you do? You're supposed to uh, when you go from one to the other. You're supposed to uh, rub her up again. Well, okay, when you're in that situation, like, I have no clue I was going to be in a situation to being a three-banger to begin with. How the hell am I supposed to have a condom? Guess what? Ready. You should all, you know what, if you are a promiscuous person, as I have been for much of my life, you always have condoms. Have you had a three-banger, Tom? Yep. How was it? Well, one was fantastic, one was okay, one was terrible. I mean, depends. And did you know, did you see it coming? I didn't have to see it coming because even if I didn't see that coming, I know that I'm spontaneous and that anything might happen at any time. True. True, true. Well, I, I, you know, I, I like to call myself the raw dog champion of the world. But... I'll bet you do. Will you be calling yourself the child support champion of the world, too? No, I had, a, I had a girlfriend for a while, and she got an abortion. It was the best $400 I've ever spent in my life. Yeah, but what happens when the girl says, I'm not going to get an abortion? What do you do then? Hail Mary. All right, t- take her to a jacuzzi and a bottle of wine. Yeah, well, and if all of that doesn't work? Oh, man. Then it's game over, Tom. Well, why would you take that chance? Well, I don't know. I guess I'm a loser. But, but then again, I'm not. Like, I'm having the greatest time. I use a condom when I have one. But when I don't, you know, pulling out seems to work. No. As of now. As I have said on the air, the pull-out method is a myth. It does not work. 
Oh, it, oh, listen to this. One of the girls from the three banger from two months ago called me and said she's pregnant, but she she said it's probably not mine because she was banging her boyfriend the week before, her ex boyfriend the week before and the week after. Yeah, and what if he demands a DNA test? Oh my God! But these these uh, hopefully. Hopefully he does it. But hopefully. I, but why, you shouldn't have to be sitting here saying hopefully. Well, he, he, I, I guess he kind of looks like me, so... so if it, when it what out, if he asks for a DNA? What if he finds out that she was up to no good and says, I want a DNA? What if he's a listener to the Tom Likas show? And um, he says, I don't care if you're my girlfriend, I want a DNA test. I don't know, Tom. Most people aren't smart enough to do that sort of thing. What if he is? Then... It's probably his because she went first, and and I didn't even. I, and, you know. That has nothing to do with it. <laughs> uh, it kind of does because, like, I don't know. No, I, it doesn't. But, but we only what do you think? Sperm seconds. stand in line like they're at Albertsons or something? Come on. <laughs> no, but listen. But when we when we hump, it was only for like three seconds, Tom. But the other girl, she wasn't. Pre she didn't get pregnant, and she's the one I humped the most. It has nothing to do with whether she gets pregnant. Well, come on, Tom. You get, crunch, let's crunch the numbers here. What are the, what are the, you, you think of all the people who, in this country who are trying to get their wives oh, pregnant. Oh, my God almighty. You, if you crunch the numbers, the odds are unbelievable. What do you do for a living, son? Uh, I DJ. I'm sure you do. And your degree is from which high school? University of Hawaii. <laughs> yeah, that's a high school, all right. And uh, what is what was your major? What is your degree in? Sociology. Meaning you didn't decide what you wanted to be when you grew up. Tom, I already know what I, what I want to do. I'm a, I travel the country and I DJ. Yeah, and do you think that's a long-term uh, occupation? Well, yeah, when, you, when I make a hundo a year, then yeah, it is. But yeah, but, know, how do you, but what happens if dance clubs shut down? What happens if they, they come with, uh, up with some way to automate DJs? They what happens? do, they're called iPods. Well, that's my point. What happens if you can't get a gig anymore? Right. The the chances are I don't know, I, I'm, it's hard it's hard to not get a gig right now Tom right now you're 24 what about when you're 50 I'm not gonna do that I'm, I'm investing my money I save my money uh, and I invest my money I'm not gonna be a DJ for the rest of my life what are you invested in son uh, I I love Apple Apple's my favorite stock of all time so how much Apple stock do you own 180 shares. Ooh, that's going to keep you to your old age. Thank you, Zero Tolerance Policy, you moron. You're out! Jesus. Another idiot. 1-800-5800-TOM. I'm talking to the guys who don't use condoms. Is that you? George on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Um, it's interesting to listen to these guys uh, and gals that cuss on hold. <laughs> yeah, you're hearing what the audience can't hear. <laughs> I, I, you know, I, I've talked to you before, Tom, but I don't, you know, I can compose myself and at least not cuss, even if I get upset on the air. Oh, good. But listen, I, I, I wanted to, hey, I just wanted, I wanted to give you props for bringing this up. I'm a 40 year old guy. I've never been married. I have no kids. I have, I, well, at least now, I always use condoms when I have sex. I, there have been a few times in the past where I didn't. You know, I'm a dummy. You know, I think we all are dummies at one time or another. But I want to let you know, um, I want to let the boys know out there, uh, a friend of mine turned me on to this. Um, you can get, if you live in Los Angeles or Southern California, you can get condoms at the 99 cent store. A dozen condoms at 99 cents. What is the quality of those condoms? Not, hey, I've used them. Not bad. I used to just go, you know, wherever, to, you know, the drugstore or wherever, to, you know, and get them, just pay whatever. But I, I've used them, and I'm just saying, hey, uh, especially guys who, for whatever reason, say, oh, you know, regular, you know, the other brands are too much, you know, 99 cents. A, this you know, is one area where I don't like to cheap out. I, I understand that, Tom. I, I totally understand that. I, I get a known of, brand name so that I know what I'm getting. I, I I agree with you. I understand, but you know, for the guys, you know, for guys out there who want to cheap up, I mean, I I I I didn't even know. I went in. I had to find out for myself because I, I don't even shop at the 99 cent store. But I went, checked it out. Sure enough, 
And I thought, you know what, I, I, some, I gotta let Tom know this at some point. You, when you brought this up, I said I had to call him. Well, I'm glad you did. I just, I just had to call him. Love the show. Uh-huh. You're doing great. And I'm wondering if you can take me out, Tom, virtual Tom like his style. I certainly can, George. Do you care? <laughs> Dump that bitch. I'm talking to the losers who don't use condoms. If that's you, call me. Tom Likas. Who's that thing? 1 800 5800 Tom. Tom. 1 800 5800 866. Likas. Keep it pimping, Tom. Pimping ain't easy, but somebody got to do it, and you the man. The Tom Likas Show. Tom like his show. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That's our telephone number. I'm talking to the loser. Well, don't wear condoms. I'm not here to lecture you about STDs and AIDS. I know you don't care about that. I'm talking about handing your wallet, your bank account, and your life over to some bitch you nailed once or twice. Or for a week or two. For the rest of your life. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Danny on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. Hi, thank Danny. You, thank you, thank you, thank you. Telling these losers that they need to get condoms. Like, you're doing, like, a public service announcement right now because, seriously... And, oh, one more thing, 99 cent condoms, no, not the business, no. If you're at a point where you need to buy 99 cent condoms, just go to the free clinic, they're free, and check your stuff out while you're there, too. Seriously. Thank you, Tom. Thank you, Danny. (laughs) Appreciate the call. (laughs) Can you take me out uh, with a tribal? Yeah, tribal style, sure I can. One eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom is our telephone number. Sean on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey Tom, what's going on? Not much. Hey, just right here. Just was scanning through the through the radio. First time caller, first time listener. And I just, I, I, I overheard you mention about the losers that don't wear condoms. And I'm one of them victims, Tom, and I just wanted to see if you could guide me through the process of why am I a loser. Are you, you said you're a victim? Oh, victim, because I don't use, I don't use condoms. I never have. I've always just liked to go bareback, bareback, you know, get some of that juice. I know the consequences of STDs and all the big names out there, AIDS, but, you know, it just... I've never been educated to, to, to use a condom, you know. My brothers all have babies. I don't have babies. I'm just, my life's just starting out. So you want to have babies? No, I just, I just love to go bareback. Right, but you realize that one of these days you're, you'll impregnate someone. I try to pull out, you know, I try to pull out. That sometimes. doesn't work. Do you understand that that's a myth? Oh. Do you know that? Oh, I didn't know that, but I just I always try to pull up. I won't. I, well, you keep saying. Oh, I, you can't make sexually graphic remarks on the radio. I'm not going to let you go there. All I'm telling you is that the pull-out method does not work. Do you understand that? Yes. That it is fiction. That if you ever, and I'm sure you don't, but if you ever took the time to look at a website where they have this information, you would find out the pull-out method does not work. Oh, I see. Oh, yeah, like I said, Tom, I just, I was scanning through the radio first time. We heard that already. Well, right, that's all fine, but let's talk about the subject here. Okay. You're not concerned about whether you impregnate someone. No. So you're not concerned about having to pay somebody child support for the next 18 years? No, I don't. That's okay with you. No, I just try to hit them and quit them, like you say, Tom. I just yeah, but, hit you, him. but but you know what? When they have your baby, you can't quit them. 
Even if you don't date them anymore or don't talk to them anymore, they're not going to quit you. They're going to have an attorney. They're going to go to family court, and they're going to take your money. But you don't well, care about that. Oh, no, no. Now that I'm talking to you, it makes me want to just, you know, start start putting on the literal straps. You should have been doing it all along. Well, By the way, wanted... son, have you ever have you ever gotten your junk checked out? Oh, yeah, all the time over at the free clinic, family planning. Why don't you pick up some condoms when you're down? What family planning do you do? I don't. <laughs> Why, by the way, I imagine you have some lousy job and you don't have a college education. Is that right? No, I don't know. I haven't been to school. I just high school. Right. So you feel like you've got nothing to lose. No. But you've got everything to lose. I see. What do you do for a living? Right now, I'm I'm I'm, I'm going to roll for the fall semester. At what? Oh, some, uh, what is that for a union trade job? Do you even know what job? Oh, it's, uh, what is it, a pipe fitter. Right. And do you understand that if you get somebody pregnant, they will take the money right out of your paycheck? No, no, not at all, Tom. No, like you I said, I'm just... What you know, did you think would happen? I don't know, Tommy. Now, you, now I'm blushing here talking to you, and I don't know what to say no more. You don't know what to say? Oh, you, what, you, what do you, you think would happen? You're, you're, just, you're putting me on. You're putting me on, like, letting me know what, what what the real world's about. You know, you're the first person I've listened to and that's ever talked to me about this stuff. Where's your dad? I never had one. Yeah, that's part of the problem, son. And I know you're new to the program and you haven't heard us, but I act as the surrogate dad for millions of guys who call this show. Oh, yeah, it was like I said, I heard you and, and I heard that and I just wanted to call your show in and just, I don't know, just for some reason I heard your voice. You can't afford to be paying a quarter of your salary to somebody you had sex with one time oh. for 18 years. All right, Tom. Well, I appreciate the the little lecture, sir. Is there any way you could probably take me out, Kobe? Yep, I can do it. Oh. Oh. This is about us. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. Yeah, it beats in my heart. Oh. Yeah, the air I breathe. Oh. She's so special to me. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That's our telephone number. I'm talking to the losers. Who don't use condoms. Jason on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How are you, brother? I'm okay, Jason. Well, you got a lot of patience, man. These guys are freaking retarded. Yes. Especially the quote-unquote victim. Yes. How, how are you a victim if you put yourself in that situation? <laughs> I don't think he knows what the word victim means. I think you're right, brother. <laughs> No, oh, man, I just wanted to call in because I was listening tonight, and uh, all of your topics have been hitting right on, man. I walked down on all those freaking lines. I got hooked up with the crazy chick that was great in the sack, and, you know, later on she got knocked up because she told me that she had uh, problems and wasn't, you know, able to get pregnant. And I bought into it like an idiot, and uh turns out she was able to get pregnant. And uh, didn't want the abortion or any of that crap, so I got a little one now. But uh, and did she ever that, admit to li did she ever admit to lying to you? No, she didn't. She says, "Yeah, well, I don't know how it happened. Mm -hmm. so, no explanations for it." But <laughs> it's retarded. That's for dang sure. But the point is to learn your your lessons. You know, you don't keep doing that crap over and over and over. Mm -hmm. Especially Mr. What was it, the King of the Raw Dog? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> yeah, I think Child Support King is, is definitely in his future. <laughs> Did you have fun while you were down here, man? Uh, are you kidding me? We had a great time in Dallas. We always do. And what I need is to come back sometime when I don't have to work. Yeah, definitely. I heard you hit True Lux, man. That's a great spot. Oh, yeah. Were you up in Addison there? Uh, no, 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 right downtown. 
Oh, okay, the one downtown? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. There's a great one in Addison up there, too. Well, you know, uh, just just going on between the nightclubs, the strip clubs, and the restaurants in Dallas, I'd keep you busy for the rest of your life. Oh, man, it's it's paradise down here. I mean, I hear about Cali. I've never been out there. Well, man, I was out there when I was a little kid to go to Disneyland, but that don't count. But yeah. Dallas is great, man. I love this town. There's so much trim running around here. Oh, it's, it's world minute, class. Man, I would love to give a shout-out to some of the good girls. <laughs> you know, you, you always get these chicks talk, calling in, talking smack. You hate women, this and that. Man, uh, I'm running around with this little, uh, this is going to be kind of funny to you. She's a stripper, and she's yeah. a single mom. <laughs> of course. Okay. One usually but, follows the other. <laughs> <laughs> well, check it out. She's She is the main ingredient in my bullpen because she's already had a kid. She doesn't want any more kids. I've got a kid. I don't want any more kids. I'm fixed anyway, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> we rolled out. She uh, got us tickets to OzFest for free. I didn't pay anything for that. Rolled out there. Had to pay for parking, you know, big deal. Bought her one beer. And then she goes off. She's extremely freaking hot. She's like, I'm going to go get us some beer. She takes off, goes, runs around, shakes her little thing, comes back with two freaking beers. <laughs> Here you go. I got these for you. <laughs> <laughs> That's Dallas in a nutshell, Jason. And do we love it. Our email address is my name, Tom at blowmeuptom.com. The Tom Likas Show.